these Arkansas Travelers. There's one there. Well, and actually, there's probably several coming up in the same spot because they all came from the same tomato uh, vine. But they are doing super duper better than the Romas, which, you know, the Arkansas Travelers were designed for high heat and humidity, and the Romas weren't. And so the Romas are dropping their remaining flowers right now, and they're focusing their energies on the fruit. And so we've been having to really trim them back to keep them from shriveling up the fruit just to stay alive in this heat. So Ed has designed this super shade, what do you call this? Uh, the shade imposium, emporium, yeah, imposium sounds like it's, in, what does imposium mean? I think you're confused that with symposium. Maybe that's what I'm confusing it with, but yeah, Ed's designed this super duper shade area and we're going to put our aromas in here and hopefully the sun when it's on that side when there's no other shade protection around won't kill them off. These scarlet runner beans, they're like we don't care. Look at all those pots. Those were all scarlet flowers. Look how high up it is. It's almost at the arch. They love the heat and humidity. These are Kentucky Wonder pole beans that are on either side. And they struggled for a little bit and extra watering seems to really be helping them. And also, no grasshoppers eating them would help them.